So all I want to do is film, right? And all I ask my girls to do is not to yell at the top of their lungs upstairs. And as soon as I come downstairs, what do they do? Yell at the top of their lungs. So if you guys hear children in the background, life of a mom. Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be our December favorites. So the end of the year is here. December has come and gone and so we are now in another year. You guys will be getting a multitude of favorites from me because we're going to be doing the monthly favorites for December and then in January I will have a week long favorites week where we'll talk about all of my favorites from the previous year. So 2018, I can't believe we're wrapping up 2018 like this, but I'm very excited for the future and for 2019. So if this is your first time watching me, make sure you click that subscribe button so we can be friends, join the family. I would love to have you also click the little notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into the favorites. I have not too many, but I have a good amount. So first thing I want to show you guys, I was dying to show you guys this last month, but I had only had it for a week and I didn't think it was fair to stick it in the November favorites. So something that I have been loving has been this Laura Mercier Stardust Radiant Glow Palette. This thing is so beautiful. I have been using this all month. This shade in particular right here, this one is called bronze, just bronze, bronze right here. And then I like to use this one a lot in my inner corner. And this one is actually called champagne. I don't dabble into this one too much, but these two right here are my jam. I even mix these two together. I may try like mixing these two together and see what happens, but I've been using this all month. This is the most beautiful thing besides the Laura Mercier translucent powder that Laura Mercier has ever come out with. I love this palette. It was a holiday collection, so I'm sure the packaging is limited edition. Not sure if the actual product is limited edition, so I would totally check this out. Next, I have a product for my lips, and it's something that I bought from Sephora during their 20% off VIB sale, and it's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So you guys told me I would get hooked onto this, but I didn't know how hooked. I should have bought like three sets from them because I am so in love with this sleeping mask. I use it as a lip balm throughout the day, and then I also use it as just a regular sleeping mask. And the set, I believe, came with three small like sleeping masks like this, and then it came with a big one, but I feel like I should have gotten like three whole sets because I love them that much. This is the best lip balm I've ever tried. I've been really liking the Bite Beauty lip balm lately, but this one really kicked that lip balm's ass to be quite honest. This is so, so, so good. My lips just feel super hydrated, just so moisturized. I am in love with this. If you have not tried this, definitely check it out at Sephora. Moving on, this product's actually empty, so you guys will see it in my upcoming empties video, but this is the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Tonic, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this for a while, and I was a little hesitant to try it. I don't know, I, I just was. I've never really been that big into toners until maybe like a year or two ago, so I finally went ahead and tried this Pixi Glow Tonic, and I love it. As you can see, I used it all up. It just made my skin feel super beautiful, and I also feel feel like it brightened my skin. So what I would do is cleanse and then I would take this and I would use it as a toner and I feel like my skin would just be like brightened. I also felt like it didn't dry out my skin too much because a lot of times I use toners and I feel like they just really dry out my skin and suck everything out of it. And this I feel like did not do that. So definitely really, really love this and I will be repurchasing it. Moving into some more makeup, I have two little mini eyeshadow palettes here that I've been loving. The first being the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. So I don't have the full size Naked Heat palette, but I do have this little Petite Heat and it's so cute and I've been using it all freaking month of December. I mean, I've just been really subdued on the makeup, like really, 
really simple on the makeup like even this look right here I have on zero eyeshadow no lashes just a nice red lip that I feel like ties everything together but I've been really subdued on my eyeshadow so I've been using this little mini palette and I feel like it's just so 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 cute and you can do actually a few looks with these colors and just really look pulled together it's a great palette to travel with like a nice companion palette and if you're not really that into makeup and you're like I just need something to do a quick eye I think this is perfect now if you want to get a little more fancy with the eyes then I would use something like this which is the Huda Beauty mauve obsessions palette and yeah I'm obsessed with this palette and all the other little guys that she's come out with they're just so pretty and you get nine shades and probably three or four of them are shimmers and they are the most beautiful colors and she has like seven or eight of these I think in different color schemes so depending on what you like you can find something for you there's a warm tone a cool tone there's a colorful one I think there's an all like glitter one there's a bluish one a purple one a green one literally whatever you're into you can find it in these little mini palettes and they're not that expensive they're like $24 I think and these shades are very well made they're very pigmented it comes with a nice mirror this is another palette that's really great for travel and you can get a lot of looks out of this little guy right here so next I'm gonna pull out another face palette that I've been obsessed with this month and I've shown you guys this before and it's the NARS narcissist wanted to palette and I have been obsessed with particular shades in here not the whole thing but this highlighter right here super pretty just very glowy and like a healthy glow not really a blinding glow but more of a healthy glow and then I've been obsessed with mi mixing these two blushes and it's this one and then this matte blush right here in the middle mixing those two blushes just gives you the most beautiful mauve shade and I usually do it on a day where I'm gonna do like a nude face like this and nude lips and I I'll put on that blush and it really gives my face this like pop of color that it needs and the blush is really pigmented and the highlighter is really pigmented and I just think this palette is a really great one to have I'm hoping it's still available I don't think this was limited edition but it's such a good palette Another blush that I've been in love with is this NARS blush right here and this is the NARS blush in luster This is one that I've been loving for years I've had this blush for years and it really is a staple product in my makeup collection when I did do my blush declutter video Like a couple months ago. I decluttered most of my blushes, but this is one that I could just never get rid of It's just nice and subtle. It's like a peachy I don't even know how to put it. It's like a shimmery peachy blush, but it's more like the brown tone peach, not like the orange tone peach, if that makes any sense. And it's just a really pretty color. Go into Sephora, watch it, see what you think about it, because I think everyone, every skin tone could wear this beautiful, beautiful blush. Just sticking with face products, I have one more, and it's the Becca, what is this, multitasking, multitasking perfecting powder in dark golden and this is something that I've also had for a while and I hadn't used very much and then I pulled it out this month and I definitely feel like I should have been using it it makes it such a beautiful contour it's not too warm or too red really makes a nice shadow on the face pulls your face together sucks you in and makes you look like you lost 10 pounds very very easy by just contouring with this powder I don't have it on today but I've really been into this and wearing it a whole whole lot this month it blends out so well doesn't make me look muddy or anything I love this and last but not least, I just have a concealer. Along with my lightweight makeup, I've been doing lightweight concealers. And so I switched back to this Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This stuff is so lightweight underneath the eyes and it just blends out so nicely. I was obsessed with this concealer once upon a time. I mean, using it every single day, this was definitely my favorite and my go-to concealer. And then I got away from it and I I, I don't know so many other concealers have come out that I've been trying and that I've been using so I haven't really been picking this baby up but I have mine in the shade medium dark warm and 
it's the perfect like highlighting shade for me and it's just such an amazing beautiful concealer it's actually pretty hydrating under the eyes as well you don't have to worry about it being too drying under there and really making you look like cracked and cakey because that can definitely age you honey so this concealer does not do that and I think it's a nice concealer for like makeup beginners when you're just beginning to brighten up that under eye area I know everyone doesn't do that step but when you start and you're just beginning to do that this is a really great concealer because it blends out super easy so you don't have to worry about under blending your concealer underneath your eyes I've done that and it is not cute so this is a really good one if you're looking for a good easy to work with concealer but yeah you guys that is it I didn't have too too much stuff to show you guys today I wanted to stick with the stuff that I have just been using and been um obsessed with and so this was everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you what was your favorite product of the month let me know down below I'd love to know what you guys have been loving and have been using don't forget to follow me on my social media my Instagram my snapchat and also my Facebook fan page go ahead and stalk your girl I'm always on Instagram especially in those stories so make sure you're following me and also make sure you're following my vlog channel Bradley T TV. we do some fun stuff over there there's some really great videos over on that channel so go ahead and follow me there as well I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video bye guys <laughs>